Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel. Thanks for logging on. If you enjoy these videos, do me a favor and subscribe to our YouTube channel right here at Watchbox Reviews. I would really appreciate it, and I promise to update daily. If you love this watch, you can see it, and you can purchase it on our website, thewatchbox.com. And today we are discussing a 2016 limited edition of 73 pieces made by H. Moser C. of Schaffhausen, Switzerland, for the Swiss Rolls-Royce Enthusiasts Club. This is the Endeavor Small Seconds Rolls-Royce Enthusiasts Club limited edition 73 pieces 39 millimeters in 18 karat white gold quite slim only 10 millimeters thick you can see it fits well and easily on my 16 centimeter circumference wrist lug to lug a delightful 45 millimeters such that I can recommend this watch for a wrist as small as 13 and a half centimeters circumference. The spacing between the lugs a very standard 20 millimeters. You'll find that just about any aftermarket strap company will offer an option in that highly standardized size. The strap itself is an unusual piece with blue satin and a bonded junction with the calfskin on the underside so you can see there's no there's no stitching this generously bolstered and luxuriously manufactured strap uses only bonding to secure the top to the bottom so it has a seamless aesthetic and a wonderful silken satin finish underneath the finger as well as to the eye it looks great it feels great there's a curved spring bar so the strap can be drilled relatively close to the case the spring bars are drilled close to the case but you can move the strap there's no constraint against the case band because of the curve of the bar jumping out to the buckle. You can see it's a handsome Moser branded piece with both polish along its bevels and satin finish on its sides and its top. There's even a little revetment for the polished buckle that contrasts and nestles into the, or I should say the pin that contrasts and nestles within the buckle itself. On the underside you can see it features a little bit of an elevated bridge structure so the strap sits between the stanchions rather than underneath. Nicely executed with the Moser logo. Jumping into the case band you can see fluid is the word. The Endeavor has always been a handsome case and a complex one that gets lost in the head-on soldier shots of the internet. You can see there's a vertical satin finish at the center, a wonderful set of sculpted ca concave lugs on both sides, an elegant look that contrasts with its mirror finish against the satin. You can see satin finish between the lugs. The lugs themselves nicely tapered with a little bit of tumble home from the side to the outer flank, and you can see that there's also a nice taper down and away. It's a handsome look that gets lost again online. It's almost like a piece of molten metal flash frozen into a permanent state. There's a concave bezel that you can see visually pairs the mass, and then the dial is the famed Moser Fume Blue, and you can see that Fume sunburst to good effect. It's a gradient that fades from a sort of silver blue at its center to navy at its outer edge. White gold leaf style hands, and as you can see, white gold applique indices with the Moser logo. And what is this? That is a Rolls-Royce grill, and you can see it's both Rolls-Royce and Bentley, as the Bentley wings are present and correct. The Swiss Rolls Royce Owners Club was the inspiration for this special edition. So that includes crew built Rolls Royce and Bentley. And I'm presuming that even in this era of a divided house with Rolls Royce and Bentley built in separate places by separate parent firms, you could probably adopt this watch as your own if you own either of those vehicles. The Moser Crown, nicely executed, simple and handsome. And on the case back, Moser Manufacturer Caliber HMC 321. Let me see how close I can get. 27 joules manual wind, three-day power reserve with a case-back power reserve indicator adjusted to six positions. Remember, a chronometer is five, so one more than a chronometer. A full balance bridge with a free-sprung index for shock resistance. An overcoil hairspring to help it ace that six-position timing test. Beaten away at 18,000 vibrations per hour. You can see just below the balance, Moser's in-house 14 karat gold escapement. So you have both the escape wheel and the anchor executed in 14 karat gold, and the entire escapement is designed designed to lift out as a unit so a separate pre-serviced unit can be dropped in during service to speed your watch back to your hands. It's a remarkably inventive adaptation of the 18th century platform escapement concept and everything is beautifully executed with black polished screw heads. You can see this double crested Cote de Genève. There is a radial satin finish to the power reserve scale. You can see that there is a mirrored anglage along the edges of the bridge. Interestingly, there's more of a machined bevel on the barrel bridge, whereas the train bridge at center has true hand-laid chamfer. This is mirror
mirrored, rounded anglage in the finest tradition of what you would normally associate with the Vallée de Jeu or Geneva. So this is a beautifully executed movement, though curiously the barrel bridge itself is a bit more mechanistic in its execution, the remainder entirely by hand. But a handsome, no compromise watch in almost every respect, and one that is discreet about its co-branding. You can see on the case back, it's a bit more overt about the Rolls-Royce Enthusiasts Club. On the dial side, at anything but severe lighting in a light box and high magnification, you could miss that lovely Greek temple of a grill down at six o'clock. A handsome piece and fun for those of you who are into non-sporting vehicles. Rolls-Royce owners don't get a whole lot of love from the watch industry, even as enthusiasts of sports cars seemingly have their pick of car-themed watches. See this one and redress the balance on the watch box.